When this man packed up his things and left his sickly wife behind with nothing, he was sure it was the right thing to do for himself. It was only when he returned years later and saw this that he couldn't believe his eyes. One fateful day, Harry made a decision that would forever change both his and his wife's lives. Frustration and anger had built up to an unbearable level, and he could no longer stand to be in the same room with Jane. He decided to leave, believing that he could finally have the life he had always dreamed of somewhere else. He packed his belongings in a hurry, leaving Jane stranded and heartbroken. In the beginning, Jane was severely depressed, unable to fathom how her once loving husband had abandoned her in her time of need. The days stretched into weeks, and she struggled to find the strength to carry on without him. It didn't help that the house was painfully empty and that he would never hear the laughter of children running wild in the house. She knew that was the main reason why Harry had left her, and it hurt her deeply. Harry had always dreamt of a life filled with laughter, children running around, and a loving home. He had envisioned himself as a devoted father and a happy husband. But as the years passed, his dreams began to crumble, and his life turned into a nightmare he could never have foreseen. Harry had fallen deeply in love with Jane while they were at college. She was a naturally pretty girl who had caught his eye one day in the library. It was from that moment that Harry knew he wanted to marry her, and he got his way. They were inseparable during their early years of their marriage, and their love was a beacon of hope that promised to light up their lives. They were thrilled at the prospect of being with one another for the rest of their lives until suddenly they weren't. Suddenly they were always fighting, with Harry doing most of the damage. Jane, a once sprightly and positive person, had grown to become sunken and quite sickly. Harry had been patient at first, caring for her with tenderness and understanding, but as time passed, the weight of his unfulfilled dreams began to wear him down. All the time and energy spent on her was wasted in his opinion. As far as he was concerned, she simply needed to pull herself together. It wasn't just that Jane was often ill, but her inability to bear children was the biggest source of Harry's frustration. He had yearned for a family of his own, but it seemed that fate had other plans. Try as they could, they struggled severely to fall pregnant. This caused their life together to soon devolve into a toxic cycle of resentment and anger. Harry found himself constantly on Jane's back, blaming her for their childless marriage. The happy home he had envisioned turned into a battleground, and the home-cooked meals he longed for became a distant memory. Jane tried her best to make the relationship work despite her fragile health and Harry's constant demands and complaints. She went through numerous doctors' appointments and treatments in hopes of conceiving, but nothing seemed to work. The burden of her husband's unfulfilled dreams and the never-ending criticism weighed heavily on her and she sank into a deep depression. And then, Harry abruptly left her, without a care in the world that she was sick, that she was depressed, and that she was on the brink of mental exhaustion. For weeks after he left, Jane fell into a pit of despair. She felt worthless. She felt like she wasn't a real woman. She felt that she would never be loved because she couldn't have children. But gradually, something incredible happened. As Harry's absence allowed her to heal both physically and emotionally, she began to rediscover herself. Jane realized that she was happier and healthier without Harry's constant demands and criticisms. She decided to take control of her life and do things for herself. Jane took a bold step that she had never considered before. She got a job as a waitress at the local diner. It was a modest job, but it brought a sense of purpose and independence that she had long yearned for. Jane's newfound confidence attracted the attention of a man who was not only handsome, but also incredibly loving. His name was John, and he showed Jane a level of care and support that she had never experienced before. John was aware of her past and her struggle to conceive, but he loved her for who she was, not for what she could provide. Their love grew strong, and after a whirlwind romance, they decided to get married. Jane and John's life together was everything she had ever dreamed of. It was only when reflecting upon her previous marriage that she could fully appreciate how bad it was before with Harry. She and John were deeply in love and formed a bond unlike anything she had ever experienced before. Jane's health improved and she finally felt like the woman she had always wanted to be. The love between them was genuine and supportive. For the first time since Harry, Jane started to appreciate how much she wanted to be a mother. Dread filled her stomach at the thought of anything else, 
She desperately wanted to have John as the father of her children, but she knew that dream was unreachable. Years passed, and Jane and John built a life together filled with love and happiness. They had friends, they traveled, and they enjoyed every moment of their lives as a couple. But the desire for a family still lingered in the back of Jane's mind. She had come to accept that she might never have children, and she was content with her life as it was. However, life had a surprise in store for Jane and John. One day, Jane found herself not feeling too well. Concerned, she went to the doctor only to find out that she was pregnant. Naturally, she and John were elated. Finally, they could start working on their little family. Seven years after Harry had left her, he returned to the town for work. He had also changed during the time he had been away. Realizing that pursuing his dream had cost him the love of his life, his heartache and loneliness had taught him a valuable lesson about the true meaning of happiness. One day, while shopping at the local grocery store, Harry bumped into Jane. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the radiant, glowing woman standing before him. Jane had blossomed into a beautiful, confident, and self-assured woman miles apart from the broken and fragile person she had been when he left her. Her smile was genuine, her eyes sparkled with happiness, and she looked healthier than ever. But what truly took Harry by surprise were the three beautiful children standing beside her. They were the embodiment of joy and laughter, their eyes shining with the love they shared with their mother. They were all quite close in age too. He found himself without much to say. She had everything he had ever wanted, only with another man. He could hardly believe it. As he looked at Jane's life, he realized that he had been the one to abandon something precious, and he had paid the price for his impulsive decision. Jane saw Harry too, and there was no anger or bitterness in her eyes. She had forgiven him for the pain he had caused her, for the years of torment she had endured. She had moved on and built a life that brought her happiness and fulfillment. Harry couldn't help but be struck by the stark contrast between their lives. While he had been chasing an elusive dream, Jane had found her happiness, both in her career and in her loving husband and children. As he looked at her and the life she had created, he realized that he had lost something irreplaceable. Jane graciously asked Harry how life had been for him. Through going to church with John, she had learned that holding any sense of resentment towards Harry was simply destructive. So she had forgiven him and herself years before. She had asked him how he was because she genuinely cared. She couldn't ignore that she had at one point in her life loved the very man that stood in front of her. Harry broke down into tears in the middle of the grocery store. He told Jane everything, how he had left in pursuit of something he couldn't find in their relationship, only to leave behind the best thing that had probably happened to him. He had continued to be successful in his work, but had failed to build up his personal life again. He had tried dating and moving on, but had struggled to find the woman he found interesting or likable enough. This left him single and very lonely when all he wanted was a little family of his own. To make matters worse, Jane had not only moved on, but was now a mother. It was what he had always wanted. He questioned her and how she was so healthy. A part of him was in serious disbelief at the fact that she was thriving. Why had she been so sick when they were together? Had it been him? Jane felt sorry for him, but in some ways saw that it was Murphy's law. He had been abusive to her, and as a result, he had lost out on everything he had ever wanted. It was safe to say that Harry got a real reality check after bumping into Jane. He realized that nothing would ever be as he wanted it to be if he didn't make some changes within himself, regardless of how hard it may be. What a crazy story. It just goes to show that sometimes things are right at your fingertips whether you want to acknowledge it or not. What do you think about Harry's behavior? Do you think Jane was right in being kind to him after everything he had done to her? Why or why not? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.